there's been a lot of problems with things like facial recognition, body scanners, when it comes to black people. Facial recognition software is saying that we're people that we're not. Then you have body scanners that have issues with black people's hair. It's amazing how that the software is always an issue for black people, but it's not an issue for others like it is for black people. Have you noticed that? Well, you have a brother. He's a young man in the UK. And he says that he was completely shocked after a facial detection system refused to accept his passport photo, mistaking his full lips for an open mouth. I'm not making that up and put the picture up. So this brother, as you can see, his name is Joshua Bada, 28 years old. He detailed the struggle of uploading the photo in which he posed with a neutral facial expression as required by the government. So you can see there, he says he want to submit it. He says, explain why you use the photo. He said, my mouth is closed. I have big lips. He said, it says, it looks like your mouth is open. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Now continuing. The brother said when he saw it, he said he was a bit annoyed. He wasn't surprised because it was a problem that he faced on Snapchat with the filters. He said where it hasn't quite recognized my mouth, obviously because of my complexion and just the way my features are. He stated. Now he said, Bada shared a screenshot of the error message he received from the government of the UK website, telling him his chosen picture didn't satisfy the requirements. In a dialogue box, he was forced to explain that he still wanted to submit the photo and know that his mouth is closed and have big lips as we saw earlier. He said, after sharing his experience online, he said Bada said he was flooded with messages from friends who got a laugh out of it, but acknowledged it was a mistake that shouldn't be happening. Now they said the Race Equality Foundation, the charity organization that launched in 95 blamed digital racism for the error saying they believed the system wasn't properly tested to see if it could successfully identify black people and other, you know, people of color. Now <laughs> it's funny. You got a term called digital racism, a computer program. Don't think about no one's race or features. A program only run how it's designed to run by the person that put it in there. Okay. Well, maybe the person that designed it didn't do their homework, didn't care to do their homework. Maybe some of the people don't like black folks. They won't, don't want them to be recognized. You have a thing called digital racism. No, you have a problem called racism, period. White supremacy. That's what you have. Now, another man named Samir Jiraj, he stated that uh, it was a policy and practice for the charity. He said that presumably there was a process behind developing this type of technology, which did not address race ethnicity. As a result, it disadvantaged black and minority ethnic people. He said flawed AI systems like this one by Bada have come under scrutiny for its tendency to target and misidentify non-white people. It's saying in August, the Detroit police department faced criticism over its use for a facial recognition cameras to make arrests, sparking privacy concerns among students. He said this should be the last police to use that technology because it can't identify one black man or woman to another. It said Detroit police commissioner, Willie uh, Burton told the guardian, every black man with a beard, looks alike to it. He said, every black man with a hoodie looks alike. He said, this is techno racism. Now look, no, it's just racism. Maybe this just, just, just maybe this, I'm, I'm gonna throw some, some, something out there. Okay. Maybe you should be finding some black developers, black it people, black software engineers to not only be on these projects to lead these projects, because they would make that software where it could be recognized with black faces. But obviously you're telling me like normally you don't put black people on these projects at all or have them leading these projects. And this is why you get into trouble. Same thing with corporations. You have no black people um, at the top. So you put out things like um, the coolest monkey in the jungle type of shirts. You put that out and then now you're scrambling. Okay. 
or you do like Gucci and have that sweater and look like blackface. Well, you, maybe you had a black person. I'm not talking about a shucking and jiving black person. I'm talking about a real black person. They will say, Hey, what the hell is this you about to put out? And would have saved you some money and time. That's what y'all get when you do that. And it, and the great thing about it, people need to call you out and, and post that immediately to social media. So, so the mainstream media can't cover it up and just say, Oh, it's just a glitch in the system. No, it's not a glitch. It's racism. The man can't even fix his passport because y'all said the man's mouth is open. God, that's so silly. And you it's supposed to be the government. You paying people to develop this software and you need to get somebody else. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what to think about this particular story with this brother, but I don't know if any of you had any problems at scanners at airports or anything like that with facial recognition. Um, let us know in the comments.